we decided last minute <clears throat> yesterday that we needed a massage. So I found this actually super cute little place in Encinitas. And it kind of looks like like a little, it looks like Encinitas, but it looks like a little slice of Bali, kind of. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of cute. Um, so we're going to go there, and they offer a prenatal massage. So we're going to get, like, a really long ass massage. First, we're going to try and go get some breakfast, though. And then we have a jam-packed day. Um, I have someone that was coming over to see the rabbits and possibly give them a new home. We have a comedy show that's like, how, I don't know, how do I describe that comedy show tonight? It's jazz like, and jokes. Jazz and jokes. Um, it's like a, it's a community kind of. Community event. Community event. And you are now the what of the charity? El Presidente. El Presidente of what is it? The OFD? The Oceanside Firefighters Charity Fund. Yeah, fancy. So I get to go be arm candy, pregnant arm candy. <laughs> First trip to Bye Bye Baby. We're trying to figure out how to use strollers. <laughs> I'm trying. Got it all figured out. <laughs> you do. I don't know how the hell this thing works. Yeah, easy peasy. Right. And then I think that's for when they're older and you're using the bottom part. No, there you go. It's like totally encapsulated. And it's like in the way of like I would spill so many drinks and snacks on this right here. Yeah, so it looks like all of these kind of have the car seat situation and then you use it like after. Like that one too. You look good with a stroller. You look hot with a stroller. We're trying to think. Does it hold a baby mobile or is it a handle? <laughs> How does it convert to a crib? That's the crib. Or is the bassinet part? I do like that I can roll this around the entire house. <laughs> One of these is like, it's not, I don't even think I have it here, but it's like $1,500. Um, apparently this is pretty important next to the bed to be able to push this down and like get to the baby. Mm -hmm. So we just got some food by the Oceanside Pier. How was your massage? <laughs> it was uh, intense. <laughs> it was like a sports massage and that's like not what I scheduled for you. Um, mine was good. Uh, it was definitely good. But I feel like I'm not gonna get any more massages till after I have the baby. The massages were good. We went to um, Bye Bye Baby as well. <laughs> I felt like I felt like a weirdo in there. I didn't know how to work anything. I didn't know what anything was for. I feel like you need a guide going in there. Like, mm -hmm. hey, this is what you use for this. This is they what you use for didn't that. Didn't have any customer service or anybody that was like willing to help you. There was one guy that asked me, but yeah, nobody said anything to us when we went in. But like one guy asked me, um, asked me if I needed any help. But yeah, there's a lot of options for strollers. Like I have no idea. So if you guys have a really good one that you love, I didn't even know they made those anymore. Chevrolet car truck things. I don't think they do. I think it's an old one. Oh. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for strollers or whatnot, well, let me know. Some guy just said congratulations to us. <laughs> as soon as he said it, Nick was like, oh, that's ballsy. Some guy just said congratulations to us. <laughs> as soon as he said it, Nick was like, oh, that's ballsy. It's <laughs> like, what do I just look like I have a beer gut or what? <laughs> Kinda. Um, but. Well, it's just the beginning. Like, even when chicks are like nine months pregnant, I'm not touching that for the football. <laughs> you can tell, like, you could tell when people are like super pregnant. Yeah. yeah but what if you had like just had a baby and that was like your residual? Oh bump. yeah, yeah, that would suck. <laughs> I have just gotten a little dolled up, not really, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go down to UTC right now and see if I can't find some maternity leggings and maybe some like bralettes. Um, I keep noticing that I'm only grabbing for my sports bra. And it's the only comfortable bra that I have right now. I have a couple that I just bought for like push-up 
boob feature, but I'm just looking for something comfortable that covers my giant nipples right now while I'm wearing shirts that are white or whatever. So hopefully I can find something there. Also, it's really cold here right now. And all I have to wear that this fits in is uh, not that it's huge yet, but it's definitely, I can't fit anything. I put this on Instagram. I'll show you guys my little, oh shit, I almost fell on this cord. Um, my little bump fit today. Let me turn on all these lights. There we go. This mirror is so dirty, but oh, this is cute. It's kind of, it's kind of baggy, like a little too big, but like I said, I um, am not really fitting in much else. So I've just got some little sandals on and I'm just gonna wear this today because I don't have anything else that I fit in. <laughs> if I try and jam myself into some sweatpants, I'm just gonna look not how I wanna look. Um, so wish me luck. Hopefully we can find some warmer casual dresses, some leggings and maybe like some shirts and sweaters that I can wear while pregnant where I don't just look like a house, but I actually can like wear stuff that's like a little bit tighter. I'm finally getting to the point now where I feel like I can wear tight things. It's still such a weird concept though, because I feel like I'm supposed to suck in when I wear tight things. And usually, you know, you engage your core and this is not sucking in at all. And this is sucking in. So, <laughs> There's no, there's no hiding this anymore. I <laughs> wanted to show you guys this bra that I just bought in addition to another one because I really needed a bra that I could wear that didn't have like underwire and that didn't like make my boobs spill out over like kind of the cup, you know, when you're wearing under like tight white shirts or whatever. And then also one that like just was comfortable but not too thick. Just I just wanted to make sure that my nipples weren't showing through every shirt that I wore. So I just bought this. I just put it on and it is so comfortable. Like I forgot I was even wearing it. And this is from someone who like never wears bras. Like I hate wearing bras. They're so uncomfortable. And this is just like the most comfortable bra I think I've probably ever put on. It does have a normal clasp. So it has like a normal clasp whatever in the back but like it is pretty thin and just it covers what it needs to cover and it's so freaking comfortable and my boobs don't spill out the sides which has been an issue so I'm gonna link this for you guys I'm also gonna show you another one that I got so this one that I just showed you guys is from True and & Co and it is a it's $52 and it's a large. Okay, sorry guys, I just pulled this off and realized that I got that totally mixed up. So the bra I was wearing is Notori, and it is, I don't even know if I'm saying that properly, and it's a 38D. So, and I'm actually on the last rung right now or whatever. I'm usually a 34, but I'm pregnant. So um, I'm a 38D right now, and this is just so freaking comfortable. So I guess this one is the True & Co. It's kind of weird because usually the Notori ones are like a little fancier, I thought. But either way, this one was 56 so it's a $4 um, difference than this one. And then this one is a Notori. I've purchased one of these bras before, and it was extremely noisy. Like the um, straps in it would like squeak when I wore it, but it was a padded bra. And now I'm just seeing this little the little pad can be removed. That's good to know before I wash it. But this is really good for wearing with like racer backs. And this is very comfortable too. There, it's just a very thin, almost like the um, seamless underwear that Victoria's Secret makes that I love. It's like that, but it's kind of a lower neckline for this one. And this is super comfortable too, but the one I have on, as of right now, takes the cake. Like I was, I was like gonna go to the grocery store and then put all my clothes on and then realize Nick already bought me the stuff that I needed. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get comfortable again. And the first thing I did was take off my pants. I was like, okay, I'm good. I just need to put my robe on now, my slippers, I'm good. And then I was like, oh, wait a second. I still have a bra on and it's crazy for me to forget about it. Um, the bottom right here, is super comfortable. Like it kind of like goes like this and it doesn't just dig into you right here. So I don't know, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of this bra. <laughs> super excited about it. <laughs> 
the um, planter outside is like shining right on my face. I was just replying to some comments. Um, apparently you guys like the random vlogs, so perfect. We're just gonna try some timestamps. I think I'll film from like Sunday to Sunday and then put like a timestamp. So if it says like Wednesday, you know, it's from last Wednesday, like a few days ago kind of thing. So thank you so much for all your input. Whew, a little late start this morning. Nick um, got sent home from work yesterday cause he is not feeling well. So he's in the bedroom watching a movie and I need to make him breakfast in a few minutes. But right now I have a lighting guy coming over to give me a quote. I'd really love some up lighting on all of our beautiful olive trees lying in the driveway and some like the palm trees in the backyard. I'd love to get that done before my baby shower, um, which is in April. So I'm going to change my outfit because it's, this is my pants are falling off. Like <laughs> I warned him, I was like, I'm literally in a robe and I'm like, not the sexy kind. Like I, I look like I don't, I, I look like I haven't changed for like three months. <laughs> so I'm actually going to try and put something else on right now. Good morning, Mr. Crab. How are you? So, um, I have not done my animal routine yet in here, so I kind of need to do that. Look at Sailor right now. Oh my gosh, she looks like a stripper and I'm so here for it. You got mango all over your mouth. <laughs> your little legs. Oh, I love you, Sailor. Um, I have a bullfrog right now that had, well, I've always had a bullfrog well, for three years. Chet is my bullfrog and she has a respiratory infection. It's been difficult for her to breathe. Um, it's been difficult to get the medicine in her because it keeps coming out of her nostrils. So we're going to try right now. I hope I don't have to switch to injectables, but um, wish me luck. I feel so bad for her because she's so congested. I just got eye boogers out of her eyes the other day and she freaking hates this. And watching it like coming out, out of her nostrils like bums me out. But she sounds a little better today, I have to say. Eat all of it, eat it. No, 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 no. Honey, I know. Let me ask you this. Do you really feel that, feel confident that your home will be ready or ready enough Yes, the builder okay. is starting, um, the builder is going to be starting pretty much like in the next couple weeks here, so. Oh good. So All on right. a to-do list, so far I have invites, uh, caterer, guest, bartender, photo spot, and game. Getting some propane refilled. Country life. Don't you hate when you're running late and you spill coffee on, watch out baby, on your seat. And then you also spill coffee all over your car. That's what I get for bringing one of these in my car. But like, damn, I am in a hurry right now. And this is the last thing I needed to happen. And you know what? My dumbass hardly keeps any extra napkins in my car. So fuck, I'm gonna have to clean this up later like all over all of our keys oh my goodness leo how, how do you let this happen to me at least it didn't spill on my super cozy sweater thing whatever the fuck these are called i never know i never know why is there so much stuff oh there's a mattress in the back of my car <laughs> Duh. well good morning <clears throat> I am driving Leo to the vet right now. I was sitting there editing my 4K video that I put up last Thursday. So <laughs> if you haven't seen a 4K video from me in a few years, you missed it. You gotta go check it out. It's pretty crazy. Like you can see like into my pores, like, th like you can see my brain through my pores. It's pretty cool. Why are none of my record settings showing on my monitor? It's, um, I used to not like 4K because when I was in my mid twenties, I feel like I was going through this like period of life where I was like, oh my goodness, I'm starting to see wrinkles, like whatever shall I do? And I kind of had like a little bit of a, like a insecure moment. And now I'm kind of just like, 
I just, I don't care. I'm 33 years old. I have wrinkles. They're from smiling and laughing mostly. <clears throat> and that's just how it is. And when I have big pores or pimples or discolored skin, like so do y'all. So <laughs> some of that is relatable to somebody. So you know what? Fuck it. So I'm heading over to drop Leo off at the groomer. Oh my gosh. Why don't I have a seat warmer on? Um, there's coffee everywhere, dude. I think because, um, I'm having a kid, I need to start, um, I need to start, uh, keeping wet wipes all over my car. Okay. So I just passed the guy who does like all the real quick, um, pit stop in the conversation who does all of the really awesome lights at the front of our, like, um, community, I guess. And, uh, I just found out yesterday that, okay, do you watch hoarders? Okay. So if you do the psychologist on there named Dr. Zazio, who is like my favorite is that guy's daughter. That is so cool. I like don't get starstruck at all, but <laughs> for hoarders, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. So anyways, um, I forget what I was saying, but I think I was saying something to the effect of like, I need to start carrying wet wipes with me pretty much everywhere now because dry napkins from Taco Bell just ain't cutting it. Like, especially when I spill sticky crap. So if you have children, let me know what you keep in your car kit because I'm going to need a serious car kit for this car and my truck and Nick's truck. So probably the motorhome too, but that, I think that'll be all stocked up anyway. But yeah, I'm going to need a serious car kit. Um, so hopefully Nick is feeling better today. He just left to take a COVID test for work. Um, and I feel fine. I have a really, really amazing immune system because I have never been like one of those people that like puts hand sanitizer on like all the time. Like I've definitely built up my immune system pretty well since I was a kid. I always used to play in the dirt. So I've been very careful with the reptiles and salmonella and stuff. But other than that, I'm like not like super, super careful. I will always put hand sanitizer on after I pump gas though. Gas. Oh, there's a bunch of geese in the field over there. I don't know if you can see. Oh my gosh, I've never seen geese there before. That's so crazy. I wonder, there used to be donkeys in that field. I wonder if they took them out because why would the geese be there if there was donkeys in there? I feel like maybe the donkeys found a new home. Anyways, very busy day today. I had a lighting guy come over yesterday to like talk about some up lighting for the trees up our driveway. And I had another guy scheduled for today and guys, this guy changed the appointment five or six times within the last 24 hours. I kid you not. He changed it this morning alone in the past 20 minutes twice. So, okay, no, no. So it's been six times. Oh my gosh. And so, and it's crazy because he has five stars and like 180 reviews on Yelp. And I'm like, how bro? Like if this is how you do your business. So he switched it again on me last minute. And I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not going to be home. So, and it's the truth. I'm not, I'm literally leaving my, I'm, I left, I left the house. So I think I'm going to have to find another company to come out and give me another quote because I am never someone who will just take the first quote and run with it and be like, sure. Unless I totally know exactly like what I'm looking at as far as price, but like all of this stuff I'm totally new to. So I find it a little irritating that he is so flaky with his appointment times and like just, I just feel like he doesn't really give a shit about my time right now. So that's kind of annoying. Um, so we'll see what happens there. We'll see if he like, I bet you he's one of those ones that shows up at a time that like you didn't even schedule. And then you're like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like I I'm busy. <laughs> a bath for Nick right now. I got my little, my little guy in here. Ugh. Actually use this for my reptiles so we can see how hot the water is. Put the little, his body's super freaking achy. So I think I've got some good like Epsom salt. This should be really good. Um, 
His body aches a lot, so this eases aches and soreness from muscle pains. Um, and then I've also got this guy. Oh my gosh. Literally just asked me if the Epsom salt cures aches and pains, and I said yes, and he asked me where I'm gonna sleep tonight then. <laughs> What did you what did you say, say to me? <laughs> I said, does it make aches and pains go away? And I said, what? And I said, where are you gonna sleep tonight? <laughs> Fuck you, give me that fucking pickle. <gasps> I have been going nonstop today and I have hit a wall and my body is trying to fight off being sick. I can tell. I woke up this morning with a little bit of a scratchy throat and now I've got like a little bit of phlegm going on and I just feel like I've been hit by a train. I like jammed my day with so much stuff today. I took Leo to the groomer. He looks amazing. His breath still stinks, but what are you going to do? Um, I went grocery shopping. I picked up my mail. I shipped out some stuff. I just, oh my gosh, I feel like a freaking train hit me. Like, part of me kind of feels like I kind of want to throw up, but then like not really. And like my sacrum is killing me. It has been almost the entire pregnancy now, but it's like really hurting. And I did like all the dishes a little bit ago. Thank goodness Nick helped dry them. But, oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> my bullfrog is not doing great. Not not doing well at all um emailed the vet kind of what's going on as of today to try and like figure out what we're gonna do next um it kind of feels like there's not a lot known about bullfrogs which makes it difficult to treat she just keeps spitting up all the antibiotics that i'm trying to give her and it's really sad because blood's coming out too and then today some like really nasty like brown liquid came out and it was really disturbing to me <clears throat> so I sent her some pics of that and stuff, so we're going to figure that out. Tomorrow, I'm debating on leaving the house at all. Um, I've got a doctor's appointment, but I'm going to see how I feel in the morning. If I don't, if I feel worse or the same, I might reschedule it. I am alive two days later after I had a little bit of a scratchy throat and stuff. Um, I feel like pretty much 100% today. And by pretty much, I mean like, I feel good. I don't have aches anymore. I did sneeze a little bit last night, but um, Nick's COVID test came back negative. And so everything's good, we're feeling good. And we're taking it easy today, not doing anything too crazy. Um, just enjoying the outside. It's nice to get out and about. So we're gonna go walk. Um, whatnot. I think I need to pick up some frozen, uh, some frozen, um, stuff for my bullfrog as well as my snakes. So yeah, it is so pretty outside today and, uh, Nick's running in to grab us some, uh, scratchers because I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> Thank goodness I have a hair appointment next week because these like yellow pieces with the pinkish stuff with my roots is like, these roots are just crazy guys. Like I don't think I can do this like straight bleach thing anymore because this is too devastating looking. I think I need some sort of like a really heavy highlight up there. Like all, like, like, I don't know. And then like some sort of a little violet shadow root that's like really short to help it grow out because this looks so like, I don't know, just like unkept to me. Like, I just don't like it. Anyways, oh my gosh, I need to work on my arm strength before this baby comes because I'm holding this vlog camera and for like 30 seconds, my arm is like sore. Okay, so um, yesterday we didn't really do a whole lot. Like I got all ready cause I hadn't in so long. And then we ended up just like doing like a quick dinner but today, um, I'm actually not really doing a whole lot either. So it's gonna be kind of boring. I feel like most of this video has just been like checking in with you guys. But um, I wanted to show you a couple things that I got because what I'm gonna do right now is do a pregnancy Q&A. 
And I just got this really cool chair from World Market. Thanks to Jenna for picking this out for me and grabbing it for me. And then look how cute this picture is. And it's huge too. Like, I don't know who did this. This was like hanging off in the garage and part of it is like very slightly damaged right here. And it definitely wasn't like that when I brought it home. So I have a feeling somebody hit it in the garage. <laughs> So I was thinking for now, I'll put it up there. I'm not going to do that right now, though. I'm going to leave that to Nick, but I am going to replace my little kitchen chair with that chair. And then this has like been my little filming space. As of now, you might have seen it in my gender reveal like test video. I do need to get rid of my Christmas decorations over there, <laughs> um, but I don't really have a whole lot of places to film in this house right now. So let me switch these chairs out and see what we've got. The one morning I have alone for the next like week to do work and film, the HVAC people knocked on my door. This company is pissing me off, okay? <laughs> First of all, when they rerouted our air ducts, like not as much air flows through now. And then they wait three months to send me an invoice. They send it to me and I'm like, hi, yeah, you guys never came out and fixed like the airflow issue because the guest bedroom in the front either is freezing or cold and is not like the rest of the house. So I was like, please don't send anyone out until Nick is here so he can tell you what's going on. And what does she do? She just schedules and whatever she feels like it. And now they're here and Nick isn't, he literally just left. And it's my one time to film and do stuff and they just ruined it. <laughs> I'm trying not to lose my mind right now, but that's really frustrating. I have to edit two videos before tomorrow and I'm really annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I need to go do something so I can be less annoyed. I got some makeup on my face, so that's cool. <laughs> um, today has just been a little annoying, um, but you know what? Hey, we're we're making progress <laughs> slowly but surely. I feel like like most of this vlog has just been me checking in, so it's been probably not the most interesting. But I'm this week, finally, this next coming week, finally getting on track for filming from like, I think I'm gonna do Monday to Sunday or something. So I always end up editing my vlogs very last minute because I never have the time. So that's probably what I'm gonna be doing the rest of today. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner. The other night I made um, a corn chowder and it was so delicious. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, like in love with that shouter. I might just have that again tonight, but <sighs> I need to make my to-do list for this coming week because I have so much stuff I need to do. It's crazy. Anyways, we will see you in the next one, guys. I hope you guys are having a great week and have a great week S until we see you next. And if you want more girl talk, um, Today's podcast did just go up on our new podcast channel. Uh, so I will link that for you guys below if you weren't aware of it. But why is there, oh shit, I put beets in the oven a while ago. I should get those. <laughs> our little like makeshift oven that we got for Thanksgiving. I don't know why there's a dog ball on the table, but whatever. I just made it in the, bas the box over there. Not bad. <laughs> we'll see you in next week's video. Bye guys. <laughs>